Hey guys, over the last few years, I've recorded a lot of really, really loud sounds, from things like drums or explosions to really insane cars and even rocket engine impulses, which were quite literally deafening. All these sounds are extremely loud, but they're used so commonly in film and television that you kind of need to have them captured correctly. And even if you're using wind protection, you have proper microphones, all the proper gear, you can still clip your inputs on your recorder if you're not careful. So today I want to share a trick with you that'll give you a lot more headroom on your recordings when you have no other options left. All right, so you're trying to record something extremely loud. Maybe you've got your preamps turned all the way down already. Maybe you've engaged the 10 or 20 dB pad on both your microphone and your recorder. It's still just not enough. You've engaged the high pass filter or the low end roll off to try and get a little bit of that low end energy out and free up a little bit of headroom on your recorder and it still just isn't enough or it makes your recording sound Thin. Chances are, especially if you're using an external microphone with your recorder, you've got a mic line switch on your inputs. Depending on the gear, that switch can be in different places, whether it's an actual physical hardware switch that you turn back and forth, or it's somewhere buried in a menu that you have to select. But they all do the same thing, and that is to tell the recorder what kind of level to expect at its input so that the preamplifier can amplify it properly. Mic level is obviously used when you're plugging a microphone into a recorder, and electrically speaking, it's a very low energy signal. So that signal has to be run through a preamp to get it up to a recordable level. Line level, by contrast, is for signals that have already been run through a preamplifier and they're at recordable levels already. A great example of this in practice is the 744T recorder from Sound Devices. Now it has four channels that you can record to, but only two of them on that recorder actually have built-in preamps. The other two channels, you have to have an external preamp in order to boost that microphone signal up to line level and then run it to the 744. Now, most recorders at this point have an integrated preamp on every channel that you're capable of recording to, so that's not really a thing of the present as much, but that mic line switch still definitely exists. And when you're faced with unbelievably loud sounds that you still need to capture somehow and maintain some fidelity, switching your inputs from mic level over to line level will sort of trick your recorder into thinking that the signal it's going to be receiving is way, way hotter than it actually is, giving you a lot more headroom than if you would match that mic level with an actual microphone. Under any normal circumstances, matching a microphone to a line level input input is going to result in such quiet audio that it'll be useless, you won't even be able to hear it. And by contrast, matching a line level signal to a microphone input is going to really distort everything and possibly damage your gear. However, especially when I was out recording rockets that were literally 153 dB SPL, I was able to get control of my signal using this technique and come out with something that was totally usable. As a last note, there are definitely more ideal ways of solving issues like this. I'd highly recommend looking at inline pads of 10 or 20 dB that you can place between the microphone and your recorder. And also with the advent of 32-bit recording, some of these problems can kind of go away because your recorder is able to handle a lot more dynamic range, which I think is actually going to lead to some carelessness when recording and uh, probably some issues in post-production. But if you're out in the field, you have no other options, you've exhausted everything else trying to record something crazy loud, give this a try. And of course, if you like the video, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, check out the links below if you want to support my channel. I'm over on Instagram at AXK, so come follow me there. And as always, thanks for watching.